Welcome everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll be walking you through the portfolio tool on TradingView step by step. If you've ever wanted an organized way to track your investments, analyze your performance, or just take your trading to the next level, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up and manage your own personal portfolio right inside TradingView, making your trading life simpler and so much more efficient. Let's get started and dive right in. First things first, let's head to the TradingView homepage. At the very top, look for a menu called Products. If you hover your mouse over it, you'll see a list of features that TradingView offers. One of those is Portfolios. Go ahead and click on Portfolios. This will take you to the main dashboard for the Portfolio tool, now here, where you start building your portfolio. You'll see a few different options to add your data. You can import a CSV file, which is super handy if you're bringing in a list of transactions from another tracking tool. Or you can create a portfolio manually, which is what we'll focus on for this walkthrough since it gives you hands-on control. There's also an option to add transactions straight from your watch list, but for clarity, let's click on Create Manually Together. As soon as you click that, TradingView will prompt you to give your new portfolio a name. Don't skip this part, a clear and descriptive name is really useful, especially if you manage several portfolios. Maybe you're tracking your crypto holdings, so you could name it Crypto Main Portfolio, or you could go with something simple like March 2024 Trades. It's completely up to you. Next, you'll set two important details, your portfolio's base currency and the risk-free rate. The base currency basically tells TradingView which currency to show your returns in, so if your main trading is in dollars or euros, select that. If you're not sure about the risk-free rate, don't worry. This is just a way for TradingView to compare your returns against a baseline. You can leave the default or look up the standard rate for your country. After that, there's a section for benchmark. Think of the benchmark as a ruler that you'll measure yourself against. For example, if you mostly trade cryptocurrencies, you might want to set Bitcoin, so that's what we'll select here as your benchmark. This way, you can easily see whether your portfolio is beating the market or lagging behind. Once everything's set, hit save. Now we're inside the heart of the portfolio tool, where you can start adding transactions one by one. This part is a lot like filling out a digital trade diary, and it's super important for accurate tracking. To add a transaction, click the Add Transaction button. Choose whether it's a buy or sell, this is key for keeping your portfolio balanced, and then select your asset symbol. If we're sticking with Bitcoin for this example, just type BTC. Next, specify the date of your transaction. This might sound minor, but having accurate dates is crucial if you ever want to analyze your performance over time or figure out how your strategy is playing out. Now enter the price you bought or sold at and the quantity how much Bitcoin you moved in this transaction. Don't forget about commissions if you paid any. Even small fees can add up over time, so tracking them gives you a much clearer picture of your real returns. If there's anything special to note about the trade, like your thought process or the reason for entering it, jot it down in the notes section. Adding notes is a great habit, especially if you want to look back later and learn from past trades. Once everything looks good, you have two options, just hit save, or if you've got more transactions to enter, use save and add more for a quicker workflow. You can keep adding transactions like this as your portfolio grows and evolves. And that's really all there is to it. The portfolio tool is flexible, intuitive, and lets you keep all your trades neatly organized, so you spend less time tracking and more time making smart decisions. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or want to share your experience using TradingView's portfolio tool, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And if you want more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out. Thanks for watching and happy trading.